A density is a level of experience that each of us goes through in this third density experience. The density refers to the amount of light that is contained within this dimension or level of experience. Each density has certain qualities and those qualities are related to our ability to accelerate conscious expansion or the experience of the spiritual journey. There is uh, another way of describing densities and that is dimensions. It's probably the way that most people are most familiar with a description of how we go through our evolutionary process as we move back into unity with the one infinite creator. I would guess uh, most people have gotten the dimensions concept from uh, people like uh, Jane Roberts channeling Seth and uh, I thought that was an excellent contact and I read that this is my first channel material and Seth speaks of dimensions. Uh, Ra speaks of densities and also in a couple of places speaks of dimensions and they don't see any particular difference between them. The reason Ra uses density rather than dimension is that it seems to be more specific. Density refers to the amount of light that is contained within each dimension or level of experience. The more densely packed it is with light, the more information is there, the more, uh, the more ability we have to move through that density or dimension and to utilize the greater amount of light. A light is equal to power, you might say, the power to use our consciousness, to evolve into a further dimension or density. So you can really use either one if you like. Ra uses density because it specifically refers to the amount of light contained within the level of experience. Each density, amazingly enough, is containing more than one, in fact, Ra said an infinite number of subdensities. And each subdensity contains an infinite number of sub sub densities and so on infinitely. There are basically seven densities of existence that also have what you might call an octave level, so that there could be said to be eight densities in total. reason that there are eight and not just seven is that as we move through each of the densities, we complete an octave of experience with the eighth density. Now the first density is the red ray density. This is the density of the simple awareness of being. Earth, wind, and fire are the entities that exist within this first density. Now the second density evolves consciousness just a little bit further than simple awareness. In this density, we have animals and we have vegetables and even minerals that have consciousness. And this consciousness now is becoming more self-aware. It is individualized in a fashion which can become able to interact with other portions of consciousness. The earth and the fire and the wind and the water all having an ability to interact with each other so that there is chance for more and more expansion of the life forms within the second density. So as the second density becomes more self-conscious, these entities, most usually animals and plants, interestingly enough, evolve into the third density. Now, even a place or a mineral, say, a location, according to Ra, can become an entity. So in the third density, the quality that uh, signifies us and makes it most apparent that we are third density is self-awareness. We're aware of our own being. We're aware that we are creatures. We're aware that we're here to learn and to grow and to serve one way or another, positively or negatively. And in this density, we choose to go one way or the other and graduate then into the fourth density. And in the fourth density, we have love and understanding that are the first experiences that we have there. Understanding, because in the third density, we have a veil of forgetting that keeps us from understanding fully what's happening. But in the fourth density, the veil has been removed. And we now see that we are all one, that love and light are the creations 
nature, their very being. So as we make a graduation or a harvest into the fourth density, we do this as what Ra calls a social memory complex. This means that each entity that has been open, opening the heart to the degree that allows this harvestability, then blends all of its experiences through all of its incarnations with every other entity that does the very same thing. So that we form a social memory complex, which is in essence, a huge library of information that anyone or the entire social memory complex can call upon as a means by serving others. For the fourth density also progresses by being of service to others. And eventually the social memory complex of the fourth density becomes available for graduation into the fifth density, the density of light or the density of wisdom. Now in this particular density, we can evolve either as individuals or as a social memory complex. And the experiences here, according to Ra, are quite amazing. They are infinite in nature and allow us then to become able to be graduated into the sixth density, where the love that we gain in fourth density is balanced with the wisdom we gain in the fifth density. And this creates what Ra calls a power, a power that is able to give us the ability to be of service to others in a way that is not possible in the fourth or fifth density. So in the sixth density then, we are continuing to evolve as a social memory complex once again. And as we move to the end of the sixth density, where apparently Ra was, uh, then the possibility of graduating into the seventh density comes about. And the seventh density then is that density of foreverness, the density in which we move back into unity with the one infinite creator. It's a timeless density. There is no such thing as time in that experience. And then as we become able to fully gather all of our spiritual mass as a social memory complex, we move into total unity with the one infinite creator in the eighth density, the octave level. And at that level, there is complete unity with the one infinite creator once again. Now, this unity has brought to the creator an infinite array of ways of knowing itself more intensely, with greater variety, and with greater purity and this was the reason the Creator made the infinite creation, to know itself better. Now with this fruit of this octave of densities gathered, then there is another beginning of the whole experience over again. There is, however, what Ra called a great timeless period in which all of this fruit of the previous octave of experience, as they say, blows and burns incandescently in a chaotic manner so that there is what we would see as a, a mass of confusion. However, at some point, this blowing and burning incandescently begins to change as there is a light that is developed and begins to shine into this chaotic darkness and brings about another type of experience that has just finished and now begins again. The beginning of another first density with earth, wind, fire, and water, starting the whole process over again at a higher level, having been able to gain this fruit and grow from it from the previous octave. In this progression of densities and our experience of moving through them, we are now at the end of what Ra calls the master cycle of the third density experience. Three 25,000 year major cycles are now culminating as we begin the transition into the fourth density of love and understanding. Now, Ra says that this period began shortly before World War II, about 45 years ago from the time we had the raw contact, which means right now we're about 72 years into this transition. Now, there are varying possibilities with how this transition could occur and how long it would take to be completed. Ross said the planet itself is fourth density, and there are many fourth density entities now from other planets that have made the graduation of their planet here to help us in our graduation. But because of the population of our planet is so divided, so full of doubt and anger and separation and chaotic in its experience, Ross said it is very, very difficult to predict exactly how long this transition is going to take to be complete. So they said basically 
Somewhere between 100 and 700 years would be the time space in the way we measure time. But they also mentioned that there was one wild card possibility. Ross said, could your planet polarize positively in one fine, strong moment of inspiration? Yes, my friends, it is not probable, but it is ever possible. So we have to realize that we cannot pinpoint the exact time this could happen. It could be any time. It could be 700 years from now.